Okay, here's the K98. I'll be converting to uh, 308 with the new old stock Israeli 7.62 barrel. This is where it pays to talk to some of the old guys. I've been picking brains of a few old guys and a couple of retired Smiths. The one guy I trust the most gave me a few tips. Now he said back in the day when you could pick up a barreled action or a or a Mauser or any military surplus rifle for fifteen, eighteen dollars and a barrel for twenty bucks and a stock for fifty, you're into a nice hunting rifle. That's for sporting. And he always said what we would do as long as the bolt matched the uh, case head, they would just try and see if the rounds would cycle. Now he said make sure you load it with a stripper clip since you'll be using it in matches. Make sure you load it with the stripper clip because you want it to function using the stripper clip. Then he said now if you want to check and make sure it cycles really well before you remove the barrel since I don't have the 308 barrel run your 308 through your 8 millimeter sizing die so you change the taper of the body so it doesn't get jammed up in the chamber. Save yourself a little aggravation. And then next size to 308 and put the longest bullet you have and load it out to maximum Sammy specs for 308, which is 2.81. So I did all that and I loaded them. And I don't think I'll have a problem. Goes right in. You gotta move this over a little. My makeshift spot. I don't have enough room in my dungeon. I use just the 308 cases without sizing them to eight millimeter but he said just polish up the, the rails and they are rough on this so just polish up your rails maybe clean up this a little bit the magazine plate and that's it he said leave the feed ramps alone so they really don't do a heck of a lot As you can see, it's pretty crusty in there. Haven't cleaned it in a while. But so far, everything's looking good. Barrel should be here in a week or so. It's all working out fairly well. It is a little stiffer using the 308 cases I made up. Uh, dummy rounds, no primers, no powder. I already took the sights off, those came off real easy. Definitely has low temp solda holding them on. Front sight came off just over right around 375 degrees, rear sight right around 400. Basic propane torch just heated it up, low flame, and when I put the new barrel on, I'll, I'll redo the fit. This gun has some vertical string problems. As it binds up right here in the stock. So whenever it heats up, it must be pushing on it. One way or the other. Other than that, it's pretty good clearance. All the way back to the um, receiver. So I get pretty good clearance. All the way up to there. And then 
in here is where it gets a little a little snug. So we'll relieve that a little bit. Or I might just buy a new stock. I'm not sure yet. Might treat this thing to a nice new walnut stock. Manelli makes a stock set that isn't terribly expensive. You're definitely gonna have to, have to fit it up through here. Other than that, we should be good to go. And that old timer was right. If you cycle standard 308, it will get stuck in that chamber. And as usual, every old guy says the, says the same thing. Don't pussyfoot it. You know, cycle the gun like you mean it. You won't break it. So we're off to a good start. Poor old sewer bore. We'll uh, have a fresh new barrel on it soon.